first grade. I'm so sorry you're stuck with me for math. Um, if you're really good at money, you don't need to do it. You can turn this off, do this by yourself, and ask mom or dad to check it. <laughs> um, Mick is at her Nana Papa's, so I'm going to do this with you, but it won't be horrible. I already did the hairy math. Remember, when um, you have nickels, they get one hair. Quarters get five hairs. And dimes, of course, get two. So here we're doing nickels and quarters and we're comparing them. So what is this nickel worth? Five. One piece of hair. Each piece of hair equals five pieces of hair. Okay, let's check out this guy. What is the quarter worth? Let's cut his hair. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's worth two, five, 25 cents. Okay, so we know the nickel is less than the quarter. Let's read these directions. Write the value of each set. Write greater than, less than, or equal to compare. All right, so these are nickels, and they only have one piece of hair. So let's give them a haircut. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 cents. And let's give this guy a haircut, Mr. Quarter. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents. So what do you guys think? 25 cents, 25 cents equal. Five nickels is the same as 25 cents, which is a quarter. They're both 25 cents. Now, what would you rather carry in your pocket though? Yeah, a quarter. It's way easier than carrying all this change. Let's check out number four. These are all nickels and this is a quarter, so let's give them a haircut. Five, 10, 15, 20. 20 cents. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents. Hmm, both of them start with two, so that won't work. Zero and five. Five is definitely greater, isn't it? So we could say, Twenty-five. All right, let's slide over to number five. We've got nickels again. They have one hair. So let's cut their hair. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 cents. And let's just cut his hair even though you know what he's worth. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. This guy starts with a three. This guy starts with a two. So, ching, ching, 30 is greater than 25. Good job. Let's read what this says. Read the story. Circle the coins needed to buy each hair bow. Answer the question. Deb wants to buy two hair bows. Okay. And one hair bow is 25 cents. So she wants to buy two. Hmm. Well, let's first see what she needs to buy one hair bow. One hair bow is 25. So we're gonna say five, 10, 15, 20, 25. That is one hair bow. Cause that's 25 cents right here. And this hair bow costs 25 cents, but she wants two hair bows. So let's do another 25 cents. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. There's another 25 cents. So she has to give one 25 cent for one hair bow and then 25 more cents to get another hair bow then it says, how much money does Deb have left? This guy, what's that guy worth? Five cents. At first it looks a little confusing, but if you just slow down and think about it, it's not so bad. Okay, let's flippity flop to the back of the box. Now I already drew the hairy math back here. Let's read what the directions say. Write the total value as you count on. Do you have enough money to buy the item? 
circle yes or no. So we've got shoe shine for 30 cents. Hmm, let's see if we have enough money. Let's do Harry math. This guy's worth five. Five, uh, five, 10. This guy's worth 25, I'm sorry. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. He gets five pieces of hair. Now we take a deep breath and go, <gasps> 25. So this guy's worth one. So we go to five. All of it starts with two. Two, six. Two, seven. Two, eight. So we have 28 cents. Do we have enough? No, 28 is in the 20 family. This is in the 30 family, so we don't have enough. Aww. All right, let's check out this next one. Here we have some window cleaner or glass cleaner. Let's see if we have enough. These are dimes. They have two pieces of hair, so they're worth five, 10. Now, once you know it's 10, you can count by tens all the rest of the way if you want to. So we could go 10, 20, what's next? 30, then 40, then 50, and then take a deep breath and stop. <gasps> what comes next by ones? Zero, one, five, zero, five, one. After the four family comes the five family, but by ones, we just add a one to the ones column. Now we have 51 cents and the glass cleaner is 50. Do we have enough? Yeah, we have an extra penny. Okay, let's take a look at this shoe brush. It's 45 cents. Hmm, okay. These guys are nickels. They're only worth five cents. So five, 10, 15, <gasps> deep breath. What comes after five by one? One, two, three, four, five, six. So 15, 16, 17. Oh no, do we have enough? Absolutely not. 45 is way more than 17. Okay, let's read these directions. Draw coins to picture the story. Complete the sentences. Okay, it says, Carter found 20 cents in his truck. Well, we could do 20 cents fastest if we did dimes, right? So let's do one 10 cent, two. 10 cents. So 10, 20. So he found 20 cents in his truck. Emma found 10 cents under the mat. So we need one more 10 cent. How much money did they find? Well, they had 20 cents here and they had 10 cents. So 20 cents was in the truck 10 cents was under the mat. How much money did they find? Well, we're not gonna take away. We wanna count it all up, so we're gonna add. So, if this is tricky for you, what you can do is you could always do this. Do it the long way, long addition, like that. What is nothing plus nothing? Nothing. What's two plus one? Three. So it equals 30 cents. They found 30 cents. Or you could do it like this, 10, 20, 30. There's a couple of different strategies to solve that, right? All right, let's read the review.